It's your boy Zay. Video two for the day, bruh. It's hot as heck outside, so we in the car in the AC. I ain't trying to melt. I ain't trying to get no darker, bruh. So listen, today what we're gonna talk about is some cons to modifying your car, bruh. So the first con I wanna say is, bruh, well, it's not really a con. I know it's somebody like some questions. I know people probably question, you know, can you have LED or underglow, you know what I'm saying, when you get pulled over or, uh, tenant windshield and just like with tenant windshield when you get an inspection bro you're gonna have to pay more in the areas that i be at you don't never really get pulled over for that bro i got 20 all the way around on the front windshield bro never been pulled over for that but like you know if you if you speed or something you know you already did a traffic violation or something like that if they pull you over they will add that on now in some states you can't have blue lights on like blue lights in your underglow blue i think it's blue red and white them lights you're not really supposed to have on because you know them the lights for like you know what i'm saying like an ambulance or a fire truck or a, do fire trucks have lights if I, anyway or a police car bro so i got pulled over for that one time but he was chill about it just told me to switch the colors bro so that was nothing serious so let's get that out of the way let's get to the cons bro so of course when inspection when you got things like a catalyst downpipe tinted windows or whatnot you're gonna have to pay some more number two you are liable for your own mistakes bro I don't know, no, well, it might be something, but when you start actually building your car, bro, the things you do, it may knock down the car's, you know, life, you know what I'm saying, like the engine's life. You might do some things that'll hurt the engine, and you also gonna do some things that's not covered by their warranty, bro. So when you, you know what I'm saying, you add that turbo to your car, you turn the boost all the way up, and, and, and rides and piss and start blowing, bro, the sure don't got nothing to do with that. That's on you, buddy, that's coming out of your pocket. That's on me. Now, for con, two bro i about to say part two for con number two bro no 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 we'll be on three anyways bro for the next con bro i don't know if it's just me bro because i'm in a civic but somebody always gonna want to line it up with you bro you could just be cruising chilling you know what i'm saying just chilling with the guys the fellas maybe even your girl you just trying to go for a drive niggas is gonna challenge you bro it's gonna be niggas in kia sorrentos ford fusions you know what i'm saying accords I mean, it, it don't matter what car, bro. I'm not just trying to call out car, bro. Centra's, Ultima's, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter who, bro. They're going to challenge you, bro. It's, it just is what it is, bro. All the time. Of course, you'll get more police attention, you know what I'm saying? Because you modify a car. Your car going to be loud. Of course, with anything, when your car nice, people going to hate on you. So you got to watch that, especially in the black community, bro. I, don't, I honestly don't know if white people do this, bro. But black people be hating, boy. I swear to you. When you when you black and you got nice things, bro, all the black people's gonna hate on you, bro. It just is what it is. Same thing with a car. So yeah, on to it another. Well, we gonna we gonna go with a pro, bro. One pro, you know what I'm saying? To uh, modifying your car is, bro, you making your car like a part of you, like an extension of you, bro. Like when people see my car, bro, like my uncle, some they're like your car look just like you. And basically what that mean is, when you see me, you would expect me to have a car like this. You know what I'm saying? Like it represents me. So basically, when you modify your car, bro, you make it in your own image, bro. You making it to have fun, you know what I'm saying? You making it for you, not for nobody else. So it really don't matter what nobody else think, you feel me? So yeah, bro. Another thing I like to say is, bro, when you when you get in the cars, bro, you get into the car community, bro. It's some cool people in the car community. Of course, it's going to be some people that hate, bro, you know what I'm saying? One thing about the car community, bro, it's like, I don't know, bro. If you got an automatic, bro, most of them is going to hate on you. It's just, it's just certain things, bro, starting to stereotypes and whatnot bro everybody knows automatics faster than stick shifts you know what i'm saying but anyway we ain't even gonna talk about that bro but that's just how that go another little con i like to add is bro like i don't know it's it's really like i don't know you know how they call it what, what is it what is it what they call it not a financial disaster but a money pit bro anything you do to your car bro you're not getting it back bro that money you put in you're not getting that back when you start modifying it, you know what I'm saying, it look nice to you. You might be thinking it's worth 50, 50 thou, you know, 60 thou. But when you go to sell it, they're going to be like, um, especially a dealership, they're going to be like, yeah, we'll give you about 15 for it. And that's all they're going to give you, bro, because what you do to the car, bro, whatever you do something to the car is really knocking off value. Now, if you was to sell your car to another car person, you know, that was really into that, maybe then, bro, but that's that's an extreme, bro. That's, that's not likely, bro. Whatever you put in, bro, you're not getting it back. Even with a part. You put in a part, you try to sell it, you're not getting all that back, bro. I learned it the hard way with my wheels and tires, bro. They still sitting in there, bro. I had them I had them for maybe like three months. Then I went with the setup I got now, bro. Nobody ever bought them, bro. Still just chilling. I had a homie text me. Yeah, I'll buy them. He never text me back. 
it just is what it is, bro. Never takes me back, man. But yeah, another thing is, bro. I feel like, well, this is just with a rap car. I'm gonna speak off the rap car experience so far. It's like extra maintenance, bro. Like you can't just drive it. I don't know. I seen some people do it, but you're not just supposed to drive a rap car through the car wash, bro. You can't. You can't wash it like a regular car. It's gonna mess up the vinyl, bro. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Everybody say that. I seen YouTube videos on that. I done looked it up. All types of stuff. I only use certain stuff for the car that's meant for vinyl, bro. So it's like more maintenance, more things you gotta take care of, bro. Um. Dang, I don't even know what else I want to say. I had a lot I want to talk about. But yeah, we're going to wrap this up. This is going to be a short little cons and pros video. Just some cons and pros to modifying your car. I'm probably going to make like a whole bunch of these videos. This is just going to be a part one basically, bro. So if y'all got anything else y'all want to, you know, want me to add to the videos, y'all let me know. And that's it. It's been your boy Zay for another video. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm up out of here, man.